Hey guys, how's it going? Crane here. Today I'm going to give you guys my review on Genzo. Now, I think I actually rated this card pretty good in the initial reviews of the expansion, and you know, it certainly looks like a pretty powerful card. You play it in an ag aggressive deck, usually they have, you know, certain capabilities that they can do, like if you're playing a swarm of minions, they generally can use a board clear, and the board clear usually doesn't do four damage, so he stays alive, you get the hand reload, it's pretty fair, at least as arena is considered fair stats for mana cost, it's priced aggressively for those stats, for an aggressive deck, wow, so cool. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't actually turn out to be very good at all. Um, the real problem with the card is your opponent drawing cards and it seems like in all the arena games that I've played and uh, in the constructed games that I've played and speculated he might be good in certainly uh, is not and certainly faces that very big problem of it just kind of becomes useful for you about the same time it becomes useful for your opponent so basically the ability is just kind of crap and uh, yeah Genzo has been, I think, one of the biggest letdowns of the expansions. Now, there, there's obviously worse cards in the set, but I think in terms of meeting and certainly dropping off of expected performance levels, Genzo is like no other, where he really just tanked, not even just in Constructed, but in Arena as well. It's, re it's really amazing how terrible this card actually is. And uh, I thought I'd give you guys my experience, highlight a few games so you guys can see what I'm talking about and how a card might actually seem very good, but might in the end turn out pretty god off. Enjoy the clips, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I can keep three two drops of Totem Golem. What three two drops should those be? Let's skip the Fairy Dragon, because this is more aggressive. Oh wow, okay, so I have I have a one, two, three, four play. You know, go with the Gilden Stalker first, because it uh it just craps on a bunch of uh two drops and one drops. And if you play something like a three two, then the totem golem cleans it up instead. Why is Hearth Arena reliable? Why should I believe it? Um, well, it helps you draft. It's uh, statistics-based tier scores. Fine. At the start of each expansion, they have a team of like uh, five to six pro players who... Uh, and like some of them were on the top three of their regions, like very, very good players. And they basically think about and determine how good the cards are going to be. And once some data is collected, they, they then adjust those scores appropriately. And sometimes it takes like a week, two weeks. Uh, sometimes uh, it's obvious and they make changes right away. But, um, you know, after a few weeks go by, the statistics they have are, like, 100%. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, it might not match your playstyle, so... As accurate as it is... I mean, I think for, for what Hearth Arena does, it's perfect. But, you know, some people do have different and successful play styles with different classes and different decks. So, you know, it, it it doesn't mean that you should blindly just have it pick everything for you. If you think, and you're pretty sure, that there's a better option there, you can go for it. Ouchies. Okay. Fine. Hoes and healers jumping up the list. Daily dose of V12, Grook. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, I might not attack with that for a while. But it might make him drop his hand, which might help me. Uh, okay, that doesn't help me. I mean, this really does not help me. Okay. That is really bad. Last card, Call of the Fucking Wild. him two cards with that. That really, really, really sucked. Draw last? What do you mean draw last? There is no draw. Another one. That's effectively the fifth animal companion of the game. Good time as any, I suppose. Please, no unleash. That's still really bad. I think I might even rather have him take out the 07 taunt there. You're in trouble now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, if he had minus two cards, I'd be in a winning position right now. But because he has two cards that I gave him from fucking Genzo the Shark, I am in really bad shape. That was a good attack. I am confident. I need him to have one bad draw. If he has one bad draw, I'll be fine. God damn it. <sighs> yeah. Should I craft Jaraxxus or Lyra for my Reno lock? You can't. You can only afford either. Uh, I'd go for Jaraxxus personally, but uh, Lyra is a more versatile card, so depends how much you want to play other decks. Yeah, dude, go face. You're a fucking hunter. Alright. We got a shield master. Once again, I need him to have a bad draw. Please give him a bad draw. Come on. We're so fucking overdue for a shitty draw here. So fucking overdue. What the fuck? Alright. Alright, this is just bullshit here. He 
He would have ran out of cards that had no plays except for the fact that I gave him two cards with Genzo the Shark. Which I only had to make the attack because the last card in his hand was Call the Wild. And then he drew uh, almost perfect mana saturation the following three turns. You never heard you played very well, he deserved the win. Well, that's rarely the case. Be interesting. I have my one discard right now. Always, 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 always minion buffs. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Fuck. Yeah, it's going to start to go down the shitter here pretty soon. I play the Jeweled Scarab first because uh, it's more likely to survive that way. Ah! Almost. Alright, so he only has two buffed cards left, but he did go first, which is the main problem here. Dude, what the fuck? How is that possible? Oh, that's a good card, actually. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. Alright. He's got one single buff and one double buffed card. Top deck kooky chemist. Okay. Just need him to not draw really well for like a turn or two, and then we should be able to win. Ouch. Side effects. No. Trust me. Okay, that's kind of a problem again. I like Shadow Flame a lot. This only works on the simple minded. The top deck here is like the game. If he gets like garbage buffed in crap, I'm probably just gonna win. You pay No what? Oh that's such bullshit. Are you serious? Reporting for duty. <sighs> I lost. I wish that was a legendary. Should count, honestly. I'm gonna play that. It's the one card he might not activate, and it'll give me a Shadow Flame. Unless he top decks lethal with 4 damage. Man, I've been so unlucky with these draws. His play is easily to go face here, there's no question. Wow, that's actually really bad. Reporting for duty. Okay, well if if I attack and then and then Shadow Flame, that three six will become a six attack guy. It'll be a six four. Yeah, I have to do it, huh? Now it's seven, I still kind of have to tap once. Yeah. Alright, 
we once again have to test. He's gotten three insane top decks in a row. <sighs> okay. It's actual garbage now. I don't know if I should tap the three. That seems pretty risky. Yeah, I'm not going to tap the three. It's all right. I can't play that. I need more tempo though. Incoming legendary top deck. Ugh. It's actually kind of tricky there. gonna go for lethal it's a good play even if he gets consecration I still win there's I don't I actually don't know if there's any card any one card that wins the game here avenging wrath okay it's gonna have to be a spectacular avenging wrath uh, do I have it oh my fucking god I don't I don't have it. Are you serious? You on the list? Oh, barbaric. I'll obviously die if I give him cards. I can't give him cards. Oh, we just set up lethal again. It beats true silver. Using Genzo as suicide. I am undefeated. Okay. A little bit of mercy here. That guy's opening hand RNG was godlike. 